is cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Good morning, everybody. Today is day six of Vlogsember and I'm taking you to Costco with me because I need to film for Friday's grocery haul. So I'll be doing most of the filming on my camera, but I'll be showing you some snippets of Costco today. I'm having a little bit of a sweet tooth before I do my grocery shopping. And so this is a pretty good sample. One whole huge piece of chocolate. It's salt caramel. Oh, here it is, it's right here. <laughs> this is it, it's $10. You can give it as a gift. So. Let me have my sample. Hmm. By the way, this is an exclusive clip at Costco. I'm not gonna show this on my Costco video. Just wanted to show you they have samples on this aisle. And then if you go down to the next aisle, there are more samples. Another Costco exclusive, guys. We have multi-grain bread with chicken breast. All right, I had this before. I found this very salty, but let's try it again. It could've just been a bad day. So, I already filled myself eating the samples, the chicken breast and the olives, and guess what? I pressed the slow-mo function on my camera, so I look pretty ridiculous. Anyway, let's look around for more samples. All right, Chex Mix. Yeah, these are like the perfect holiday treats, I find it. I know. I used to like them <laughs> I'm finding all weird places to put you guys. Right now, you're on top of sparkling cider. Oh. <laughs> oh god so heavy <laughs> you want to know how much this cost it's 12 dollars for four bottles i'm just gonna call this vlog sampling every day or just say all day Ooh. Oh. it has like a curry taste to it i'm not liking it i like curry i just don't like it in the samoas it doesn't taste good not that i don't know what orange juice tastes like but since it's here and I had some samples. I'm quite thirsty now. Hi. Toast. I haven't had orange juice in a while. That wasn't as sweet as I thought it would be. Um, it has like a little bit like a, um, a sourness to it as if like the fruit wasn't ripe. So anyway. I've been walking around this stupid place. I was looking for the eggs and the eggs is now located where the milk is. And meanwhile, I want to show you guys one of my favorite desserts is creme brulee. I haven't made it on my own yet, but that's something I do want to I do want to make and achieve on making. I'm still in Costco, and I wanted to show you this nine foot tall snowman. <laughs> He's pretty huge, but a smart idea what um, what they did is that you can collapse it to store it away. I'm finally going home. It has been almost four hours since I've been in Costco. It takes me like double or triple the time because I'm filming. I'm repeating what I say because I mess up a lot. Yeah, I've been there for almost four hours. So anyway, you see that it's pretty cloudy and rainy right now. I'm heading over to pick up my kids. We already have dinner at the house. My mom made this huge pot of soup yesterday. And so that's what we're gonna be having for dinner. So as I eat my croissant, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was basically a witness to an accident. It was a, a minor accident. It was basically a road that was a little bit too small because there was parked cars and a line of cars on the other side trying to go the other way. The lady in front of me, she was trying to pass. She ended up hitting the fender of a parked car. I was wondering if she was gonna pull over and try to find the owner. She eventually did pull over, I would say 100 feet down I wanted to tell her that she hit the car. I wasn't sure she realized it. She didn't look like she was gonna get down the car and check you know, her car to see if there was any damage. So I pulled down my window and I said, hey lady, you hit the car. It was an older woman. She was, a, she was like, oh, I did? I said, yeah, you have to kind of report it. So she was very nice about it. And I hope she is doing her due diligence and reporting that accident. For me, doing my own due diligence, I had to call the police and basically report the accident as well. Um, because if that was my car, if that, that was parked, I would wanna know who hit my car. 
Okay guys, we're home already and I have all the groceries on my table from Costco. I finished filming the Costco grocery haul and I realized that video won't be posted till next Friday. So not this coming Friday, but the next Friday. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I do have to edit this. I hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog summer videos. And if you like this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button and I will see you next time, which is tomorrow. Bye.